Hey, it's Craig back in the sports cabin on this Thursday. Nice visit to St. Louis for the local pro baseball team, huh? It was even nicer for me. I wasn't in the Lou, but I watched both Houston wins over the Cardinals, and it made my life a tad easier. I got a lot of pals and former college mates who are all Cardinals fans. They're even more faithful now as the Rams and Bowling's Hall of Fame have moved out of the area. As a student, we often made trips to Bush to see the Redbirds. Mostly, I didn't care which team won, unless they were playing the Cubs, then it was do or die. As I got older and became a TV type, oh, it was on the edge of your seat for those Astros Cardinals series. I was on the losing end quite a few times, and you know, when it came to the 2005 season, every fan in Houston held their collective beer breath in the NLCS, which meant the winner went to the World Series. The cards for what seemed like the hundredth time, the Astros, of course, for the first, and you probably know where I'm going with this. The Astros and Minute Maid all set to clinch when Albert Pujols lifts one to Lufkin with the bases loaded to keep Houstonians in their seats. Brad Lidge is still looking for that ball. I happened to be right behind home plate in about the fourth row of the Palomine, Ed Curtis, who's from St. Louis, and was best buddies with Cardinal manager Tony La Russa. My friend had me sitting in the middle of the entire Cardinal front office, and I was the only one still sitting when that ball was launched. The next night, though, in St. Louis, the Astros did clinch, thanks mostly to Roy Oswald, who had the Birds number his entire career. Now, I know a mini sweep of two in this day and age is no big deal, but I sure like the way it turned out. Now, well, even though the cards are, what, 300 games behind the Cubs in the NL Central, it was still fun to watch the Astros do to the Cardinals what the Rangers always do to Houston. This is Craig Roberts on Click 2 Houston. Go Astros.